The city of Melbourne, located on the state of Victoria, established into a city during the Victorian gold rush in the 1800s that grew today into a growing metropolis. It's one of the most visited destinations in Australia that attract locals and tourists every year. Melbourne offers a variety of interesting places to visit. View art exhibitions in museums within the city or take an adventure tour on the Yarra River showing the city's landmarks. With this much to offer, there's no better place than Melbourne. It's the experience that makes you come back. Welcome to Melbourne. Flinders Street Station One of Melbourne's famous and recognized landmarks in the city. Located along Flinders and Swatson Street, its structure is still original as it was during the 1800s. It is the heart of Melbourne's train network, in which all train services ends in the station. The Shrine of Remembrance, located in St. Kilda Road, Melbourne, Victoria, is one of the largest war memorials in Australia. It was built as a memorial to the men and women of Victoria who served in World War I, and later becomes Australia's major war memorial for all Australians who die in war. The shrine is open to the public, and visitors can view inside this historical landmark. Royal Botanic Gardens One of Melbourne's most valued treasures consists of rare exotic plants, flowers, and fauna are found here. The old observatory is also located here. It is the perfect escape from the city and enjoy a bit of nature. Queen Victoria Market One of Melbourne's historical places its location used to be a former cemetery. The friendly stall holders in the market provides good service to customers. It's what gives its old world charm and the addictive power to draw millions of visitors each year. Visitors who come not only to shop can be entertained by the buskers who perform on the, on the surround. Federation Square, also known as Fed Square, completed on 2002 is a cultural precinct in the city of Melbourne. It comprises an art gallery, museum, cinemas, exhibition spaces, restaurants, bars, and shops. Melbourne Zoo, located near Royal Park, it's Australia's oldest zoo and was modeled based on London Zoo in the United Kingdom. It contains more than 350 animal species from Australia and around the world. Its vicinity near the city makes it the perfect place for school tours and kids day out with the family. Melbourne Aquarium, located in central Melbourne, known for its shark exhibit and the, the many diverse species of marine life. Other features include the rock pool exhibit and a diverse collection of Australian sea jellies. Current exhibition at the aquarium is of various kinds of creepy creatures, including anglerfish, Japanese spider crabs, jellyfish, leeches, and scorpions. The Royal Melbourne Show is an agricultural show held at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds every September. The show displays Victoria's rural industry and competitions held there includes livestock and poultry. The show also features amusement rides, a sideshow alley, as well as the particularly Australian tradition of show bags, carry bags full of goodies by various commercial enterprises. Eureka Tower, the tallest building in Melbourne, consists of 88 stories high, located at South Bank. Its observation deck or sky deck on level 88 
and is the highest public vantage point in the Southern Hemisphere. It also features the edge, a glass cube which projects 3 meters out from the building. Melbourne Central, the most popular spot for tourists. Inside this mall consists of an underground train station, shops, fitness gym, food court, pubs, and cinema. The one place to shop in the city. Burke Street Mall, located on a closed section of Burke Street which only trams may pass. One of the busiest shopping areas of the city, most large department stores and shops are located there. National Gallery of Victoria, Australia's oldest and preeminent public art museum, established in 1861. The museum offers a rich and endlessly fascinating visual arts experience with works ranging from remote antiquity to the present day. Melbourne Docklands Its location once originally used for docks has now become a new inner city suburb and urban renewal project in Melbourne. Visit Docklands Waterfront City along Victoria Harbour. It's the newest shopping and entertainment area in the Melbourne CBD. Telstra Dome, Southern Cross Station, and eccentric public artworks are located in Docklands. <laughs> Originally known as Railway Pier, is a historic pier on Port Phillip Bay, Port Melbourne. Opened in 1854, the pier is Melbourne's primary passenger terminal, servicing interstate ferries and cruise ships. A railway once existed used to link Station Pier and Tinder Street Station to facilitate transport of passenger and goods to the city. Today, it was replaced with a light rail service in its place. Yeah. 